Hey, Cypher here. So today I don't really know where to start this, but I wanted to talk about why Hollywood is wrong in saying based on a true story. So I was watching The Butler recently, and I was surprised to see a bunch of stuff happening on screen that was something I'd never heard of. So I started doing the research on it to try to figure out what the heck it was talking about, because I hadn't even heard about half the things that it was talking about. And then I found out why. The butler is completely false. It is made up in so many ways. To claim it as based on a true story, it's completely off basis. It's wrong in more ways than I can count, but I'll tell you a few ways that it went way off. Firstly, in the beginning, when you see this murder happen, where the father of the main character gets murdered for what seems like not a particularly good reason, that never actually happened. And furthermore, if it did happen, it would have been investigated at least. And furthermore, it was based in the wrong state. They say that it was in Georgia when in fact he was born in Virginia. Another wrong is the way in which he ascends to being White House Butler. Completely off basis there too. It, his whole career is basically made up in the movie. And the kind of things like racism that he had to deal with in the movie are not depicted correctly at all. They're made up. It's really, really bad. But the worst sin in the entire movie, by far, is his son's. See, the problem is, if it was based on a true story, I wouldn't be saying sons, I would be saying son. He only had one son, and that son died in Vietnam. Now, that was depicted in the actual movie, but that son got sidelined to a made-up character who was really only there as a set piece to cause more drama and to see the civil rights movement in all its particulars. Now, that seems pretty wrong to do to somebody who's actually a real person. So why is that wrong? Well, I'd counterpose it to another movie that's very similar in nature but does it right. And that movie's Forrest Gump. Now Forrest Gump goes way off of any kind of truth so that you can't actually say that it is more historical of a movie. But it does it right in regards to the people involved. You see, when it takes license with history, it has the fallback of just saying, well, it's fiction. You see, Forrest Gump is not a real character in history, he's just a movie character. Unlike the butler, Forrest Gump goes and tries to do the, basically the same thing without stepping on anybody's shoes. It steps back from reality and interposes fiction in between. The difference being that they're not trying to say that it's based on a true story. When we find out that something that is based on a true story is horribly off base, we're surprised and we're also annoyed. Especially as a historian, I get very angry at the falsification. It's not only lying, but it's lying about a real person. The Butler would have been a great and powerful movie if they had just taken a step back and said that this was a fictional character. By adding all of this extra stuff with his son, we find out afterwards that the person is a little less important in history, so it belittles the actual person. And that's just deplorable. Hence why Forrest Gump is a good movie and The Butler is a bad movie. Because both of these movies try to do the same thing. They're kind of like an odyssey through major historical events. The difference being, one's based on a true story and one is not. Forrest Gump chooses not to be based on a true story, and so every time it diverges from the truth by taking license, 
it's perfectly within its rights, and it doesn't stamp on anybody's feet. On the other hand, the butler with every move it makes away from history is belittling to the people it depicts. That's why it makes me so angry. Not because they're depicting history wrong or anything, but because they're depicting actual people wrong. Hollywood does this with basically every movie they say is based on a true story. The historicity in basically any Hollywood movie is quite questionable. Unfortunately, the mere claim to be historically based means that they are damned for every step they take away from that historical basis. And especially when it's so easily provable that they're going wrong, you would think that they would try to at least separate themselves, like Forrest Gump. So, what do you think? Do you think it's right for Hollywood to say based on a true story? Or is there an alternative explanation to if it is correct, and how they can explain belittling people for not shaping up to what they are talking about. Is there some sort of alternative validation for Hollywood? Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you next time.